know if you think if you think we should. It's going to be cold. Thank you, Marumbas. Thank you, Marumbas. Can you hear me at the back? Great. I love Marumbas. Welcome to the HIS Awards Ceremony. Today we recognize the students at HIS who have grown or excelled in a range of areas, academics, sports, performing arts, and CAS. And I welcome everyone, here and online, to celebrate these young people with us. We're gonna start off with Rufaro and Mr. Admore, accompanied by strings and piano. They are going to perform the national anthem of Zimbabwe. Please stand.
Thank you, Rufaro and Mr. Admore and Ms. Winnie. <clears throat> right, um, <clears throat> awards ceremonies at schools can be tricky things, as not everybody will get an award, and some people will get many. It is a fine balancing act between recognizing all those that have achieved and contributed, but not devaluating, devaluing the awards. Whether you win an award or not, please remember that your teachers and I value every single one of you for your, your unique strengths and qualities. There are many great things about all of you, for which there are no awards. These are awards given in specific categories, and there are many other important things in life. Whether you win an award or not, I know you will enjoy supporting your friends and others who win in awards, and of course, the lovely music performances we have lined up for you. And we're gonna have a few more uh, music performances before we get going. Um, they're gonna be two in a row now. Um, I won't interrupt in between. First, we're gonna have Franz, who is playing his own composition um, entitled Night and Day. I can't say the German part, sorry. And he will be followed by Don singing If I Loved You from the Carousel by Rogers and Hammerstein.
Thank you, Franz and Don, for those performances. And now it's over to Mr. Mayer for the Sports Awards. Good afternoon, everybody. I first want to congratulate you on yesterday, not only Masasa, but everybody for yesterday's sports day. Um, yesterday we broke, or you guys broke, I do not, uh, 16 track records, 18 field records, and nine relay records. <laughs> so well done to everybody. That just shows that the overall um, fitness levels of our school are improving, which is a good thing. Um, we're going to start with, uh, I see a track. I see a track that happened way back in October, and uh, we haven't handed out the medalists for there, or the medals for them. I will start with the boys. We have a um, bronze triple medal, uh, triple jump medal for Jason. <laughs> we have a silver for Don, also in triple jump. got a gold medal in discus for Maka. We have another gold medal in the 100 meters for Luke Bryden. Uh, Luke has a new ICA record. It's a virtual record because it happened by us, so it's only an unofficial record, but he still beat the official ICA time. So, yeah. Oh, just now. And, and we have we have a gold medal for Nate in long jump and a and a bronze medal for 400 also for Nate. Then we had our four by hundred relay team. They got silver, which was Marius, Don, Nate, who can come back, and Luke as well. Well done, boys. In the um, in, in the girls. Category we had um, we won, won the bronze in the four by hundred uh, for Ayanda. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> and Maeva. Girls, can you stay on the podium, just on that side, but stay on the podium, please. We also had a bronze medal in the 4x4. Four four. That is for Olivia. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> bronze, yeah. Uh, Chennai. <laughs> bronze. So, Zara, sorry, now I lost. Zara, bronze for 4x4, four four, Chennai, Olivia, and Maeva. Okay, good. Well done, girls. <laughs> girls, you can stay on the podium. We still have some individual medals, but we seem to have run out of medals. I'll get you the medals. We have Avanesu, player, silver in discus. And she also had bronze in the 400. 400 hurdles, sorry, 400 hurdles. We have a silver medal for 
silver medal for Zara in high jump. Yeah. Girls, you can just all come onto, onto the stage. I'll get you the medal, sorry. Um, Zara also has a bronze in the 100 and the 200 meters and in the long jump. And finally, we have a, a gold for Chennai in high jump as well, which is also a, I see a record. And a gold, final gold for Zara in the 400. <laughs> Zara was the highest scoring athlete at uh, ICEA track. She had a one gold, one silver, and five bronze medals. <laughs> With Chennai, please come on stage. All the, can all I see a track girls come on stage now, please? Let's come here this way. The reason why I called all I see a track female athletes on stage is because since the first time since um, 2013, uh, the competition happened in 2021, so nine years it took us to be I see a champion. Well done, girls. <laughs> Thank you as well to Mr. T for coaching the girls and the boys. Um, our, our boys, they came third overall. So well done to them as well. Thank you very much, girls. Please come and see me in my office for more, for the rest of the medals. Okay, then we're going over to the uh, HIS awards for track and field as well. Um, we have three categories for each sport, and we're handing them out for the sports where we had an ICEA competition in. So we have the most improved, the criteria should be up there. Track and field, most improved boys, Luke Bryden. Most, most improved girl, Chennai. The most dedicated, uh, most de dedicated boy, Aimo. Most dedicated girl, Claire. Most dedicated is probably my favorite award because it's the one where you have to put effort into. Um, so well done to Imo and Claire. The most valuable player in the four boys, Nate. And one big applause for Zara again for the most valuable girl. Not bad walking away with seven medals. You're only allowed to keep compete in seven different events in track and field, so she walked away with a medal in every one she competed in. <laughs> then we move on to swimming. In swimming, we have one individual award for Katrina. Katrina, she got the bronze medal in the 50 meter backstroke. And 
And then moving on to the HIS Awards, the most improved swimmer, Jonas. Most improved female fit swimmer, Leah. The most dedicated swimmer, boy swimmer, Jack. Most dedicated female swimmer, Kaya. Yeah. The most valuable male swimmer, Jason. Yeah. And the most valuable female, Katrina. In ICEA swimming, we came seventh, both boys and girls. But that was because what you saw on stage was probably most of our team. Well, it was most of our team. So anybody that wants to swim, please join the swim team. We're definitely looking for some swimmers. We're hosting ICEA swimming next year. So it'd be nice to have a, a full squad. That's 10 boys and 10 girls. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's move on to basketball. The most improved basketball player, Liam. Most improved female basketball player, Ayanda Nguenya. Yeah. The most dedicated male basketball player, Anders Jakob. The most dedicated female basketball player, Ivy. MVP, Tino Kwande. <laughs> Female MVP, Claire Murima. <laughs> Overall, our boys came fourth at ICEA. Um, our girls didn't travel. Um, fourth place is, is what um, I've set myself and I've set our, well, the athletic department as a goal and my coaches for, the, um, for what, what we try to aim for, the, the fourth place in ICEA. There's eight schools in ICEA. We are the smallest school. Um, I don't believe we should use that as a, an excuse. Um, it just means we need to work double as hard um, than the other schools, so that's why we have Mr. P for Gladiator, um, to make sure that you're fit. But if you see the records from yesterday, it proves that we are fitter, so well done to that. Moving on to volleyball, most improved player, male, Jason. <laughs> most improved female volleyball player, Anopa. Most dedicated male volleyball player, Aiden Francis. <laughs> Most dedicated female volleyball player, Tadiwa. <laughs> MVP male volleyball, Tino Kwande.
MVP female volleyball player, Blair Murima. Murim. I see a volleyball, we came, boys came fifth and girls came sixth. But I know they want to change that next year. Moving on to soccer, most improved male soccer player, Jesse Buira. Most improved female soccer player, Ayanda Nguenya. Most dedicated male football player, Nate Mbele. Most dedicated female soccer player, Niasha Katena. Male MVP, Nicholas Appleton. Female MVP, Olivia Appleton. In, in soccer, we came fifth, both boys and girls, uh, in, in ICA. So well done to our boys and girls. The final four awards, they're the overall awards. We have an award that combines athletics and academics. It's an athlete that managed to uh, juggle IB um, with, with sport. And that goes to Aiden Francis. Next award is the Male Athlete of the Year Award. It's the athlete that managed over the, their career at high school. Um, we were interrupted by COVID, um, but we still have an idea of who would have contributed and who has contributed in the last four years as much as they could. The Male Athlete of the Year is Aiden Francis. Yeah. Female Athlete of the Year, Katrina Lucas. <laughs> and finally, the final sports award is the Ultimate Warthog Award. It is the player the athlete has shown the most uh, enthusiasm, the most spirit, and uh, we all know who that is. Maka Maponga. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. That's all for Sports Works. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and well done to all our athletes. Um, I'd now like to introduce Roper, who will perform Intercity Stomp by C. Norton.
academic awards. Um, we are a school, so there are a lot of academic awards, and I guess that's a good thing. Um, we, if I can ask that you wait um, until I finish calling out the students in a, in a grade level that are getting an award, and then clap as they all move up to the stage. Otherwise, we'll be here until tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're going to start off with the um, President's Awards. Um, we have silver and gold awards. The silver seal is for students with, um, in, in the IB, they need to have an average of 5.5, and in the MYP, an average of 5.89. Um, well done to, to these students for their hard work. Um, so we're going to start with the grade six and seven silver awards. Uh, just bear with me while I get organized. Okay, we've got Ada, Daniel, Lee, Lynn, Malaika, Oiva, and Yossi. Start, start walking, start walking. Okay, well done, and while they're coming up, um, grade seven, Umbra, Candice, Emmy, Iyad, and Vongai. Keep going, please, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, and for these awards, could we have everyone coming up this side, collect your certificate and go around. Well done to all of you. Okay, in grade eight, we have Aria and Hope. And in grade nine, we have Angab, Jivan, Lila, Nate, and Wolf. Of silver award, silver awards in uh, grade ten. It must be all that independent study on Wednesdays. <laughs> Anita, Iman, Liam, Nathan, Tino, Vedita, and Yolanda. Dan Great Tens. Okay, and in grade eleven, Alex, Anders, Farai, Luke, Mihak, Natasha, and Rejoice. Okay, you can come this side, you can come that side, it's fine. <laughs> well done, grade 11s. And in grade 12, don't crash into them, Aiden and Rolf. Guys. Okay, and we now move on to the um, gold seal for educational excellence. In the DP, you need to get a grade average of six, and in the MYP, a grade average of 6.3. This is not easy, so well done to those students. In grade six, we have Edith, Kaya, and Johanna.
and in grade seven, Olivia. Okay, what's going on in grade eight? Anita, Isla, Catherine, Einar, Maita, Naomi, Sumaita, and Tessa. Well done, well done, grade eight. Sure, and it's a small grade level as well. Um, next, uh, we've already seen a lot of the grade nines tonight in the sport. Um, the gold seal for grade nine, we have Amy Anopa, Avanesu, Ayanda R, Henry, Jack, Leon, Nicholas, and Omar. Done grade nines. And in grade ten, we have Angelina, Celine, and Vilma. Well done. Okay, and in grade 11, we have Abby, Chennai, Elisa, Jonathan, and Wellington. Well done. And in grade 12, we have Katrina and Makatendeka. Well done. Well done. Okay, well done, that was efficient. Let's take a break from the awards for a bit and we're gonna have another two items. We're first gonna have Janti and McKenna who will be performing some modern, modern dance for us. And then Bernice is going to play Misty by Ella Fitzgerald. Let's give them a welcome. Baby, hop in my massage, and I just wanna see you right. Somebody, 
Thank you so much for those performances. Okay, we're now going to move on to the subject awards. Those are chosen by the, the teachers in each uh, department. Um, and it's not just about the grades, it's about um, extra passion for the subject and, and going the extra mile in that subject. So we'll start with MYP and then we'll move on to DP. Um, again, if we can do each slide, but as soon as I've called out that slide and you've clapped, I'll call out the next one because as you know, we're a school and there's a lot of subjects. Okay. So we're gonna start with um, language and literature in the MYP. Um, we have Edith, Emmy, Tessa, Omar, and Anita. Okay, and we move on to French. In phase one, we have Sumaita. Phase two, Ropa. Phase three, Anita. Phase four, Omar. And phase five, Celine. And moving on to Spanish, we have Kaya, Jaquin, Aina, Henry, and Nayasha. And in Individuals and societies, we have Johanna, Olivia, Aina, Jack, Angelina, and Nakai. And moving on to science, we have Kaya, Will, Walter, Leon, and Vilma. Well done. And for mathematics, we have Yossi, Alex, Olivia, Catherine, Leon, and Jinpeng. Okay, and in visual arts, we have Malaika, Bongai. Anita, Ella, and Vilma. And in drama, we have Emmy, Janti, Danny, and Angelina. And in music, we have Edith, Olivia, Catherine, Vimbai, and Panache. <laughs> and 
and in PHE, we have Kaya, Will, Einar, Nate, and Tino. Well done. Okay, and moving on to DP in Langlet, we have Kassan. What's that? Ah, I missed design. The subject I teach. Uh, in design, we have Kaya, Candice, Tessa, and Ayanda. Well done to all those MYP students. Moving on to the DP in Langlet, we have Cassandra and Katrina. And in French, we have Jonathan and Sandra. Well done. And in Spanish, Abby and Marius. And in Spanish, Abinicio, Wellington, and Don. And in history, rejoice and anno. And in economics, Mihak and Makatendeka. <laughs> and in business management, Farai and Rolf. And in biology, Alex and Katrina. <laughs> and in chemistry, Wellington and Makatendeka. And pick up two while you're here in physics, Wellington and Makatendeka. I'll save you coming back. And in ESS, rejoice and don. And a new course this year, uh, Sports and Health Science, IMO. <laughs> and in Mathematics, Chennai and Makatendeka. And in visual arts, Natasha and Katrina. And in music, Elliot. And in theory of knowledge, Elisa and Katrina. <laughs> Okay, I would now like to introduce John Phillip, 
Uh, so, I'll wait. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I would now like to introduce John Philip, who will sing the Sounds of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. He will be accompanied by his dad on the piano. Is this not? Yeah. The dark is my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because it is something creeping. Let it see how I'm sleeping. And the vision. That was planted in my brain Still remains Within the sound Of silence In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neat the hill of a street lamp I turned my car John Philip and Mr. Hastings. That's one of, <coughs> one of my favorite songs of all time, and you sang it beautifully. Well done. Okay, um, next we have the Warthog Engagement Awards. Uh, these were new uh, to HIS uh, last year, and the award is designed to recognize those students who show outstanding engagement with learning across the areas of effort, interaction, and organization. Um, these are awarded to students who have achieved um, average engagement scores in approximately the top 20% of each grade. Now, some of these students are the same students who won the President's Award, 
as it should be, and some of these students did not win the President Award, and, um, you are being and are being recognized for their extremely hard work and engagement. I encourage all, all of you who want to improve your academics to focus on engagement first. If you lift your effort, interaction, and organization in all your subjects, I promise you the grades will take care of themselves. Okay, so we're going to follow the same um, routine as we go by grade level. Um, the students with um, Warthog Engagement Awards in grade six are Chloe, Edith, Kaya, Lee, Johanna, and Yossi. Okay, and in grade seven, Umbra, Candice, Emmy, Iad, Jackin, Luke, Michaela, Olivia, and Vongai. Okay, in grade eight, Isla, Catherine, Einar, Naomi, Sumaita, and Tessa. And in grade nine, Amy, Angab, Anopa, Avanesu, Henry, Jack, Jivan, Leon, and Vimbai. And in grade 10, Angelina, Ayman, Bernice, Celine, Tino, Vedita, and Vilma. And in grade 11, Abby, Imo, Brian, Cassandra, Elisa, Elliot, Rejoice, and Sophie R. And in grade 12, Katrina, Constance, Don, Makatendeka, and Tadiwa. Okay, and now Vimbai and Shane are going to be performing Dandelion by Ruth B.
Thank you, Vimbai and Shane. Okay, we now move on to our whole school awards, um, which involve extracurricular achievements and contributions outside of the sporting realm. Um, I'd first like to present some certificates to, to a student who achieved strong results in two science fairs, a STEM Olympiad and a Maths Olympiad. He won a silver medal at the Zimbabwe Science Fair. Wellington, please come up for your certificates. <laughs> this next student won a gold medal at the Zimbabwe Science Fair and went on to represent Zimbabwe at the International Science and Engineering Fair in Atlanta. Elisa, please come up. These next two students won senior bronze certificates at the South African National Debating Championships, Luke and Maka Tendeka. That was so long ago, I think they had forgotten about it. We haven't had an, an assembly for a while. Okay, we will now move on to um, the Performing Arts Awards. These awards have been added to recognize the contributions of our most um, involved performing arts students. We acknowledge that many other students have made a huge contribution to performing arts at HIS, and these award winners were very hard to select. In some cases, students were awarded through the Music and Drama Subject Awards for their contributions. So this first award is to recognize a significant performance uh, contribution to one or more drama productions. And uh, we're missing one name from the slide, um, a typo on my part, but the winners this year are Umbra, Lena, and Miles. Well done, those were uh, two amazing uh, productions and those performances were excellent. Um, next up is the Stage Hogs Backstage Award, um, which goes to Leon and Nate for all their work behind the scenes. Okay, and the next award is for students um, who participate in multiple extracurricular music activities and performances. Again, there are many such students, but this year the awards go to Kay and Malaika in middle school and Omar in high school. The next award is for students um, who give an outstanding contribution through participation in both drama and music performances. In the middle school, we have Lynn, and in the high school, we have Jack and Anopa.
Okay, and this next award, I guess, is the performing arts equivalent of the Athlete of the Year. Um, it's a legacy award and given to a graduating student who has given an outstanding contribution through participation in both drama and music performances throughout their time at HIS. And this year, it goes to Don Boyd. Okay, so now we move on to our CAS Awards. Um, as you all know, CAS stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service. It is an expectation of the IB that all students will extend themselves beyond their classroom subjects into these areas in order to grow more as individuals as they truly engage with the world around them as global citizens. Um, while we know that all students are engaged in CAS, some students have gone above and beyond, and we would like to recognize these students. We will start with the MYP CAS students. Um, this, the MYP CAS awards goes to students who have gone above and beyond in their commitment, sorry, I lost my place there, to create creativity, activity, and service. The following students have all been recognized for being dependable and committed to a range of areas outside of academia. The recipients of the MYP CAS Awards are Leon, Jack, Anopa, Fumbai, and Panache. Would have seen them all before because it's likely that this was a combination of performing arts, sport, and um, of course the service element. I would now like to introduce Maka and Aiden. Before I do that, um, at graduation they were going to play the song and we had a technical hitch. Um, so I'm very glad that they are able to play it again tonight. Maka and Aiden will be performing Fly Love by Jamie Foxx.
Okay, the last time you get to hear Maka sing as an HIS student. Okay, I'll now hand over to Ms. Rila, who's going to uh, present the main awards to the DP students. Um, I'm going to start off with the DP CAS Awards. The DP CAS Awards go to students who embody the philosophies of CAS in the DP. Above their academics, these students have shown themselves to be engaged in all areas of creativity, activity, and service, showing balance and determination in all that they do. The recipients of this award are Brian, Cass, Luke, Sophie J, Arno, Ralph, and Tadiwa. Renaissance Award. The Renaissance Award is given to students who maintain high marks across all subject groups with no semester grades lower than a six. Yes. This award recognizes a student who delves deeply into all areas of knowledge, including those outside of their academic interest. In addition to high academic performance through his or her participation in co-curricular activities and service to others, this student is an ambassador for HIS to the school community and the world beyond. Will the students receiving this award come to the stage and be recognized for their excellence? The Renaissance Awards go to the following students. The first is Chennai. Chennai is a familiar face to all of us in the secondary because of her CAS commitment. On top of man maintaining a high academic standard, she has also been involved in many areas outside of the classroom. She has represented the school in MUN in track and field as well as STEM. She's been involved in service through NHS, Jess, and her involvement in the HIS coffee tender at the hub. Outside of the school, she has also been involved in international athletic tournaments. Congratulations, Chennai. The next recipient is Katrina. On top of being um, our class of 22 salutatorian, Katrina has been deeply involved in service. In her own time, she's challenged herself to grow by learning piano, kickboxing, public speaking, and of course, constantly bettering her swimming skill. Katrina has been generous with her time, being present for others through the Wellbeing Club and tutoring, as well as constantly volunteering her time to support on-campus events like the Grade 10 Subject Fair. Katrina has left a positive mark at HIS and will continue to do so beyond our walls. Congratulations, Katrina. The last student to receive this award is Maka Tendeka. Maka, Maka has been at HIS for two years. In his first month, he launched the debate club, indicating to us as a community his commitment above and beyond his academics. He developed the HIS vaccine app and then put the skills he learned through this process into the programming club. Throughout his time, he has been involved in a myriad of things, MUN, STEM, Yale, Young African Scholars, peer tutoring. We all know Maka's dreams will never be small, and everything he has been involved with continues to grow. We would like to congratulate you, Maka.
I would like to um, introduce a new award uh, here at HIS, the HIS Merit Scholarship Service Award. Through the connections built by some of our graduating students, HIS alumni have joined together to sponsor this award. The award goes to a person who is seen by both faculty and students alike as somebody who exemplifies both service both inside and outside of HIS, regardless of any academic standing. The student who received this award is recognized for their commitment to service, making their community a better place. This year, the recipient of this award is someone who has pushed themselves in every way. Within HIS, she has been a steady source of energy and vision with her work in starting the debate club, student mentoring, peer tutoring, as well as MUN and track and field. However, beyond the boundaries of our school, she has also shone. She was invited to present a business seminar about connecting youth in Zimbabwe to business skills and markets. She's been developing an alumni university counseling support system, and she's written a book. Constance is the perfect example of what this award represents. Constance, you set the bar very high for all of those who wish to follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, and thank you for your contribution to our community. Okay, well done to all the award winners and, and well done to the support you've given to each other and to the award winners and to the performers. It's, it's really great to see. Um, well done for that. Um, I would like to thank a few people um, that who, who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make this event possible. Mr. Mayor, of course, for putting the sports awards ceremony together the day after three sports days in a row. Uh, Chenu, Mr. Chenu and the PAC team for lights and sound, Mr. Tanner and Mr. V and the rest of the tech team for the live streaming and the um, projection, Ms. Winnie, Mr. Admore, Ms. Tomlinson for all their hard work with the music, and of course Ms. Diana, I think she's been printing certificates for two days, um, also with help from uh, Ms. Rucato for getting these awards printed and organized. Thanks also to Ms. Rila and Ms. Hawkins for their help, and well done to all of the performers. Can we give them all a round of applause? <laughs> wow, and look at that, it's 2.50 exactly. But there's one more thing, my, uh, the highlight for me. I would like to welcome the HIS Marimba Band to the stage. They will perform The Lion Sleeps Tonight by S. Linder. <laughs> 